this is a box. Why do I have a box? It's a box. I don't know. But it's time to play. What's in the box? And I'll be honest. This is from Target. Honestly, I did get this from my brother. Because my brother does work at Target. And I can tell you where. Because I don't want to bother me. But I do know what's in the box. I should. And. I'm not doing this with my phone. I'm using a GoPro to open this up. I didn't even open it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, time to play some music. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play Clinical. Now, everybody's wondering, Clinko? What do you mean Clinko? So this is a new game from Buffalo Games. Clinko. The same Buffalo Games that makes puzzles. So this, oh, I'm also, by the way, I'm not in my room, I'm in my brother's room. So this just came out. Now, everybody wants to wonder, what's inside Plinko? It's Plinko, so I'm leave this. I'm gonna leave this right here to show you the mini stuff that's inside a Plinko box. Cut this, cut this, and please be careful when using these type of stuff if you have a, a box cutter. So, as you see, the game comes with a twinkle board and some stuff. How do I get this stuff out? It's easy. Maybe. Okay, so this is your top of the twinkle board. I didn't know this goes. Okay. Right here is the bottom part of the twinkle board. 100, 500, 1,000, the zeros, $10,000. These are cards. Now, obviously, people are not going to use this card, honestly. Because these are different type of games that they have. So... Also, stands, wood, another stand, I guess, maybe. Stuff for the clinical board. And some scoops. So, and another stand. Oh, yeah, you know, we can't have Pinkle without the Pinkle chips. So, oh, these are those. Ah, uh, uh, okay. So, obviously, you know how to. The Blinkle board is set up into two different pieces, right here. Obviously, we're supposed to... Perhaps they maybe move this side to try to set up a Blinkle board. So basically, we're probably going to need to... Look at some instructions to see how to set up the Blinkle board. Because, hey, it's Blinkle. Alright, step one 
is to assemble the main game board by lining up the holes on the board. So basically, try to put these into there. You set it up by trying to connect these two together. You can't really put it together until you put these little yellow stuff in the board. And it will fit together like so. Now, a lot of people are going to be wondering how do you stick these together? Well, that's where these comes in to do some assembly. I hope. I pray. So. Easy to set up. All you do need to do is to screw these to the screw on the on the in the back of the plinko board. Where and what's this called? And just tighten it up together. Now, I've heard many problems with the plinko board where the plinko board. The uh, plinko chip, sorry, plinko chip falls down. Hopefully, get this set up to where it doesn't happen. Unlike the actual show, it doesn't have a plastic in front. And I might be saying, sorry, this video is stupid. And one side is now completed. Mm -hmm. Now the other side has do the same thing. As you can see, these I guess what you call bumpers have screws in the back. So once you set it up, because obviously these bumpers gonna help the plinko chip not go off the side. Apologize if you don't see it, but here's how it really goes looking back. Just, and then you got like eight of these screws stuff. You got eight of these things right here to screw into the back. So the thing would pop on vertically. Right, so the Blinko board is completed. Now again, you kind of do me to be careful because there's points of time where the Plinko chip could fall off here. Hopefully it doesn't. No, Alright, so that's step one. Step two is to get the batteries installed. And I don't I have a screwdriver right now because I don't have well I do have batteries but I don't have it. But also another thing right here is basically put these together. No, maybe so. There you go. I'm 
at this. Yeah. Now I got that. What else? Do I need to do? Oh, and this thing right here is your support in the back. Obviously, if you leave it alone, it's gonna mess up the plinko board. Probably do this. Plinko board. Just now That is the plinko board. Again, I do need batteries. I guess I have to help. I'll be right back when I can find a screwdriver and a and get the batteries. So I didn't really show you how you really do it. It's basically, um, so these yellow bumpers right here connects both sides of the Plinko board together. So, the, let's see, yeah. so basically each side has the screws and there's each openings of the screws. So basically there's eight of these uh, screws right here I don't know what's it really called I think it's screws well it's, uh, yeah the wing nut sorry this is called a wing nut so you gotta have eight wing nuts so basically each bumper side has uh, four um, I'm sorry. <laughs> so basically each yellow sides uh, sides just the bumpers or bolts basically so each bolt goes through a four sides of the plinko board so it's got to be already the holes are already there so you don't have to do it all you have to do is just put the screw the wing nut together now i did somehow find some batteries Three batteries, because that's what you need. You need three AA batteries in order to set a plinko. But now, the problem is, is that I keep forgetting where the hell I put out the stuff. So now, get your screw. And you unscrew this part. You want a small screwdriver, uh, the Phillips screwdriver, not a flathead, a Phillips. And then, when you unscrew it, you'll be able to put the batteries. Now again, three AA batteries to put in. The plinko board down from the stand right there. So just put in the batteries. So you, you screw this. So this is the second step basically what you want to do before putting it on the stand because the stand is going to cover this part up and you basically have to take it out of that in order to put the batteries. What you want to do is the lower lower part of each side uh, connects to this right here. And then basically you just slide it in. Yeah, like a bundle. Bam. 
little connector here. Now, as you can see, you need to connect this part to right here. Now, as you see, this is the bottom part connected to right up here. Maybe move this a little bit up. There you go. It took a while. It took some muscles. And then, in order for that, you need to connect these parts right here to the white part where it's going to be open. And well, now you can turn it on. And now you have a fully functioning tinkle board. And as you can see, twinkle chips. You get five, just like the show. So you have a chance to win fifty thousand dollars in cash. Well, you don't get real money out of the show. Just remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. You don't really get money out of it. Now, let's see how much this drop of the chip works, shall we? Now, as you can see, the board does light up. That's why you need the batteries. It also makes sound effects that uh, a chip well, goes in any of the spot. So you got or got this sound effect. You, oops. You do, each side has a little sensors too. So you get zero. You get the obvious losing horn. And the universal sound of winning. Now, let's see the official plinko drop. Uh, put it right in the middle. Um, there you go. Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. What I landed on. That's Winkle. Again, each one has a different pricing game on these. So basically everything from contestants roll to more or less, the answer's on the bottom. Hopefully you get it right. If you don't, then you don't get a Plinko chip. But a lot of people, honestly, that I know, it's just going to take a chip and they're just going to drop it. So, yeah, that's Plinko. All right. See you next time on What's in the Box. Goodbye. Okay,